It's part two of getting ready with me for day two of my derm conference. I just finished talking about how lanolin can cause allergies and lanolin is what's found in aquaphor. Now there is some debate about whether it's the lanolin itself or whether it's the lanolin alcohol that's found in aquaphor. But in any event, this allergy is worse for people who have openings in their skin. So if you have cuts, if you have sores, now this is kind of surprising news to me because I do recommend using aquaphor for cuts and sores all the time. So I'll have to kind of look into this and investigate this a bit more, but possibly for people with sensitive skin, Vaseline is the safer, safer option for cuts and sores. One thing that they brought up, which I wanna shout from the rooftops, is that oral steroids like prednisone or prednisolone are never a long-term option for eczema or hives. In fact, I pretty much never prescribe them for those reasons. However, topical steroids are fine if you use them twice a day for short amounts of time, like one to two weeks, in areas that your doctor prescribes. But oral prednisone, I use only in very, very select cases, like really bad poison ivy. Yesterday, uh, Dr. Yu also went over some really common causes of contact dermatitis that you might not think of. Contact dermatitis is when you develop an allergic rash in response to something in your environment. So he talked about a couple of his patient cases where someone was actually allergic to paint because of this ingredient called MCI in the paint. He talked about how certain people can be allergic to foam pads. Like if you're a hockey player or a soccer player and you are actually allergic to your shin guards, that can also be devastating. He also talked about how some people are allergic to their diabetes sugar monitors. So like the strips, the sorry, the adhesive that they use for the diabetes monitors. So when in doubt, if you have a strange, mysterious rash that you think is driven by allergies, meaning it gets worse with certain exposures, better when you are not exposed to it, definitely consider seeing a dermatologist for patch testing where we can actually get a little sample of that material, put it on your skin, and then measure a response in a controlled environment. Dr. Peter Leo also shared this really great tip about kids with bad eczema on their cheeks. He likes to do black tea compresses. So what he'll do is he'll tell parents to steep a black tea bag, make a cup of tea, throw that tea away or drink it, and then use that same tea bag to do, to do a second cup of tea. It's more dilute. And then put that in the fridge, let that chill, and then put a cloth in that black tea, and then use it to as a compress for 10 to 15 minutes on your child's cheeks every day. Today is all about cosmetic treatments, so we're going to learn all about new innovations in filler, Botox, and we're also going to have live injections of patients on stage, so I'm super excited. I'll see you guys later.